<laughs> this speech is a home run already. Uh, yeah, it's gonna trickle down votes like Christmas snow. <laughs> <laughs> My fluffy friends, no shepherd should be telling you when to shave your coat or force some foreign brand of antibiotics down your throat. I and my running mate, Caddy, will show you the light outside of this feedlot. We are on your side. Remember, neither of us was raised on organic milk. Heck no. Caddy was thrown into a litter of 17 and had to claw her way. <laughs> to a rusty can of friskies every morning. Voting for us means freedom from wool tax. Go ahead. Borrow that money from your parents and start your own business. Ah, oh, glamorous jobs for all of us. Hello. They have jobs right here. Fair pay and health care included. Sure. And at 8 p.m., Big Nanny Boo Boo tells them to turn off the light. Um, no, but I do read bedtime stories to the little ones. Yeah, fair tales about some 99% lamb revolution. That's disgusting. You're welcome to offer us some non-fiction, like how your merchandise operation is generating all that profit. Senor, por favor, necesito un descanso. Pedro, solo seguir trabajando. Hey, 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 I invested my own money in this thing. I'm not giving a dime to some lazy lowlife who spends it all on booze. Or gambles it away, perhaps in a casino run by one of your buddies. Here's a little extra for the end game. Use it as you wish. I'm a man of integrity. This entire campaign, I only ate domestic caviar. I took the tractor to get to this godforsaken farm. I'm wearing an off-the-shelf suit today. I'm a walking sacrifice. Damn it, I knew he wouldn't be able to stay on message. Ah, let's just buy some more ads. Still got about 30 days. That's about triple the average sheep's attention span. <laughs> oh, underfunded public education is a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> Forsaken town. I can't even get a latte. These people don't even know how to make a cup of coffee. I saw a sheep spitting something and they handed it to me. And the smell. I mean, come on, don't they know how to handle 100% wool? How come they're all so poor out here? Do you really want to hand over the keys to the farm to a bunch of radical hippies who forget to trim your coat because they're too stoned from government grown marijuana? A vote for me is a vote for better flock processing. I mean, uh, no, no, wait, that didn't sound right. Let's do this again. <laughs> <laughs>